Hi, this is Andreas Moritz, and uh, I'm responding to a question that I receive you know, quite frequently about children who become obese and develop type 2 diabetes. And this is an escalating problem uh, nowadays, and uh, I, I would like to address that. Uh, we know we know that uh, diet plays a major role, but that's not the only role uh, that we find present in uh, obese children uh, or your children that become diabetic. Uh, one of the major reasons is actually sleep deprivation or in some instances having too much sleep and or the wrong type of sleep. Uh, many children, teenage children, stay up uh, many hours during the night and then sleep uh, during the day, uh, particularly during vacation time, uh, holiday time, and they find themselves like sleeping until 10 o'clock in the morning, which I've uh, discussed in my book, Timeless Secrets of Health and Rejuvenation, is very detrimental to a person's health. Now, uh, research has shown that, and that's uh, done at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, that uh, too little uh, sleep and too much sleep both contribute to an increase in, you know, in type 2 diabetes. And what it was found uh, that sleep deprivation uh, you basically increases blood sugar levels, uh, suppresses insulin secretion, and uh, once uh, insulin is uh, you know, suppressed in the body, uh, the extra sugar in the blood uh, can then be converted into fat and that uh, contributes to the escalation of uh, obesity among teenagers. Uh, there, are, there have been many studies uh, that found in adult, these are adult studies that have found the same thing that uh, adults who become sleep de deprived or who don't sleep at the proper night hours. For example, people who work the night shift have a higher uh, risk of developing di type 2 diabetes. Um, <clears throat> the insulin suppressing effect of uh, your lack of sleep, uh, that when we sleep less, the insulin is not secreted in the correct amounts to keep the blood sugar at the right levels, is uh, certainly uh, something that we have in control. Uh, we do have the choice uh, to sleep early, and sleeping early um, should be before 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, so that we wake up uh, when, when the, the day begins, and uh, not much later than that, because the longer we sleep, uh, the worse it becomes, because once we sleep uh, past sunrise or you know at least you know an, an hour or later than sunrise uh, our digestive ability becomes suppressed and our eliminative capacity of waste products becomes suppressed and the body is forced to hold on to urine uh, fecal matter and uh, lymph toxins which then backwash into the system and uh, contaminate our body. So going to bed early, early to rise, going you know early to rise uh, is is a very important uh, piece of advice that I can give uh, to teenagers and adults who want to keep uh, the the risk uh, of developing type two diabetes and obesity at bay. Uh, there are many studies to show that for every hour of sleep uh, we have lost or deprived of, been deprived of, the, the person uh, increases uh, the weight and the blood sugar levels. So this is uh, simple advice, doesn't cost anything, and it's very effective. Uh, I've seen people uh, lose weight simply by sleeping early before 10 o'clock. Uh, and you get up early in the morning uh, at around 6 o'clock and they find that they have more en energy during the day. The digestive system uh, picks up, is far more effective than uh, in a person who is sleep deprived because when we are tired, uh, it's not just that we feel tired, but our digestive system is tired, our liver is tired, our brain and nervous system is, uh, are tired. Uh, the heart becomes tired, 
uh, because there is far more congestion building up in the body uh, because of the sleep deprivation that uh, it makes it harder for our system to circulate uh, blood, uh, to circulate lymph, to eliminate waste and to digest food. So simple advice, uh, please take it at heart and uh, you follow the natural rhythms of life. The circadian rhythm teaches us exactly uh, how to live uh, if we listen to nature and to the advice that nature gives us simply by uh, showing us uh, how the light changes uh, from light to dark uh, and uh, when it's time when it's getting dark that we are slowing down eventually uh, follow our instincts and our feelings because there's a natural uh, time where we feel tired uh, it's good not to stimulate ourselves uh, with uh, you know, coffee or uh, or food uh, so that we we actually fall feel sleepy at the right time and go to sleep at the right time and then wake up uh, when nature wakes us up uh, and so there are, there are uh, very natural cycles they're called the circadian rhythms uh, which dictate and control the biological rhythms in our body which are in turn controlled by the hormones and the hormones are regulated uh, by the circadian rhythm uh, such as melatonin and serotonin which interplay with one another uh, so when at uh, 9.30, 10 o'clock, uh, melatonin secretion begins, that's the sleep hormone that allows us to feel sleepy and drowsy. That's when we should follow that natural yeah, instinctive uh, yeah, inclination to go to rest and sleep. And uh, when the sun comes out, when the light, the daylight shows up, that's when serotonin begins uh, being secreted both in the brain and in the digestive system which uh, then allows us to wake up, uh, derive energy from uh, the, the food that we have digested uh, during the previous meals and to, to then uh, you know, follow our day-to-day -day activities. Uh, simple advice, cheap, uh, inexpensive, uh, everyone can do that or almost everyone can do that and uh, it's you're certainly very precious and it can prevent many, many illnesses such as type 2 diabetes and obesity-related illnesses such as cancer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.